good morning so i'm in orlando i'm on a quick weekend trip it is the weekend of the florida classic and i don't have any tickets to go to the game or like tailgate or anything but i decided to come along with some family so i'm so excited to be here to get away to have a nice relaxation weekend i probably will pretty much be just eating shopping walking around doing girl stuff i did want to go swimming this weekend i don't usually go swimming a lot but there is a pool at the hotel it's like fall time so you know how the winter um fall weather can be so we'll see but i'm excited to just get away have a relaxation weekend have some fun and you know just enjoy this moment okay learning to be in the moment to get away when i need to get away and you know enjoy life all right right now i'm about to go uh take a bath and do my makeup and all that stuff get ready and then after that hopefully i can go get some food at this place across the street there is one where i live but uh, for some reason i feel like when you go to another city it's a little more exciting so let me show you guys this balcony this balcony is huge Look at this. There's a whole lake over here. on this sweater from she in the black leggings and these earrings this bag is from glamaholic lifestyle and i really love it okay i'm gonna show you the boots i don't know how long my hair will last these are the boots from she in they're really cute um they do kind of hurt though and they're pretty new so i probably won't have these on long about to head out i'm already starting to sweat so When I travel, I don't like sitting in a room all day. So I'm about to catch a ride to Disney Springs and see what they have. Just look at the shops. I love the Sephora out there. It's so big to me. I went out there a few months ago and I actually found things. So let's go. <laughs> hotel 
had a good time at Disney Springs. It's a lot of shops there. I actually did not think that I would, you know, go to as many um, shops as I did. So I just enjoyed walking around. It was raining earlier, so I did get wet, but I came prepared. I have my scarf on and everything. So my hair <laughs> is still doing good. <laughs> but right now I'm so tired because uh, I feel like when I was a little bit younger, I could be out all day and all night and no, I don't see any reason to do that. Like I'm ready to lay in the bed. But tonight, I thought I would actually meet up with a friend, but not gonna happen. Maybe tomorrow, um, maybe we'll just go out and eat or something like that. So we'll see. But um, I did have some sentimental, <laughs> uh, I guess things that I was able to get from uh, Disney Spring. So when I first walked in, I went in from a different entrance than I remember and there was a tea store. So I really love tea since I was like a little girl. I don't necessarily need more teas because I have a lot of tea at home um, that I'm drinking, but I just like different flavors. I just like having variety. So I had a grandma that passed a few years ago and I used to always go to her house. She would always like cook. Like it was always food on the table. She made sure her husband and her kids ate okay. And her grandkids already. And she was very like homemaker like. Like I used to watch her cook every day growing up. And we used to drink tea. And it wasn't like you know like super fancy or nothing like that. But when she would fix herself some tea. She would fix me some tea. It just brought me back to how. I used to drink tea a lot more. I still drink it, it's just like maybe once a week now. But I feel like I used to drink it almost every day. Like I wasn't drinking coffee every day. I was actually drinking tea a lot more. And then I switched to coffee. But I kinda like wouldn't mind going back to tea. Like tea and honey and um, sometimes lemon. It really is a vibe, okay? <laughs> I just got these. Um, actually to give away but they do look good some rock candy all right I'm not a huge candy person so every now and then I'll eat some but you know <laughs> it look cute <laughs> all right so let's look at these teas I really do like health like things I definitely am one of those people like I do value healthier things and drinking teas and stuff like that supplements vitamins I feel like that has been something I have kind of like throughout the years also um, have been into. So at least taking them, not necessarily like making them and stuff like that. But I usually do drink green tea, love green tea. So I got this strawberry meadows green tea. I don't know how this tastes, but I feel like it's going to taste good. I feel like green tea has a pretty specific taste and i've tried different green teas like in the past and stuff and i've liked them all even if they were different you know like types of green tea so i also saw that they had rose petals i asked the man like what were the benefits of rose petals i'm gonna actually add them to uh the tea and then just make it a little more flavorful i guess but there are actually some good benefits that he talked about um, rose petals have. And then, this was actually one of the first things I walked in and saw. They had some rose sugar. I don't think I've ever seen like flavored sugar like this. They have so many different types of sugar, like mango, key lime sugar. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of that. So I'm excited to see how this rose sugar does. Usually when I drink tea, I like to just throw honey in there. Because I'm trying to do more, I guess, natural versions of sugar. I mean, I know sugar is sugar, but um, I still feel like natural is better for me. I try to stick to the more natural form. So um, honey is usually one of my favorites. Um, I usually try not to put like uh, regular white sugar in my tea. At one point, I was using turbinado sugar, but I felt like it was super sweet. Like, I was going a little overboard with the sugar, so I kind of cut back from that and just started using honey. So those were the teas that I got, and it was so nostalgic. It just reminded me of my grandma and, you know, like how she was like super, um, like a homemaker and just very like 
motherly cooking all the time baking all the time had trees and stuff that she got fruit and stuff off of and i just really love it okay loving your family while you have them i feel like sometimes you know you don't really know what you have or who you have until it's gone or you know until there's no longer any access to it so if you value them being in your life let them know spend that time that you have with them when she passed it was so unexpected i was younger so i was like in that phase where i was starting my career working all the time trying to build a whole social life and all that stuff so although i still spent time with her and i still want to go see her like that was one of the things that i like to do just to stop by and like say hey i couldn't spend all my time with her but i do remember when she passed it was like I wish I spent more time with her so but I don't want to make this like a sad and emotional moment so I'm going to move on to the next thing I love collecting mugs like coffee mugs you know tea mugs whatever it doesn't really matter you can drink whatever you want out of them but that's something also I have collected throughout the years so <laughs> took a random trip into the m m store and i don't even eat m ms like that nothing against m ms but that's just not my you know <laughs> candy that i like to go for but i did end up in the m m store and they had to sell on their mug so i'm gonna show you the two that i got they're so different that's what i like i like different mugs i like mugs that are just like they stand out or they have a different meaning uh to me stuff like that I got the green mug and the reason I got this one is because I like what the inside said and it says I melt for no one and what that just you know touched me and made me think of is you know I am me I don't change for anyone and I'm not saying you know like if you got a terrible personality or you're a terrible person maybe you do need to change you know <laughs> But as far as just like being who you are and you know walking in your authenticity and you know you're a good person and at least trying to be you know a good person, um, don't be trying to change for nobody. Don't let anyone try to you know change you or mold you into something that you're not meant to be or something that you're just not. Okay, so this is why I picked this one out. And let me say this, when I walked in the store, it smells like chocolate from the door, like the part that's kind of outside. You can smell the chocolate, you can smell the M&Ms. It smells so good. Okay, so this is the other mug I got. I ended up getting this one because it was shaped differently, but I did like the other brown one that they had. Don't quote me, I don't remember exactly what it said, but it was along the lines of you can't do it better than an original i don't remember the exact verbiage but for me i was about to get that one i picked that one up first and i brought it to the register and i was like give me a second i need to decide so i went back and got this one but that one i almost got because that is something i have dealt with a lot over time as i've been friends with people it was like the longer I've been friends with them, like they start to try to take on my personality. But I've always been different. You know, I have my own little beat to my own little rhythm and all that. And even though I noticed I was different, it was never a thing of like, oh, I'm gonna do all this to fit in. And I get it, like at younger ages, that's pretty common. I'm not saying that I've never tried to do anything else that I've seen somebody else do, but for the most part, that just wasn't my nature, wasn't my personality. I was okay just being different. And so that's just been something that I have dealt with a lot in my life. And I feel like that could be very unhealthy. I feel like that is something that can be common with female friends, is like the competition and trying to compete and compare and all of that and that's never been me and I pray it never becomes me but 
I have seen it enough in the past where people have tried to do that with me that now I'm here to let you know that if that is your situation or if that is something that you have in your life or see in your life, it can get dangerous if you continue down that path. Like jealousy, envy, all those type of things, that is nothing to play with if you know there are people in your life that feel that way towards you. I feel like you have to use discernment to know if it is people that you need to cut off or it's just a situation where um, sometimes people just are in a bad season and they're feeling things or they don't know what to do with those feelings. Everyone doesn't always have evil intent, but for the most part, if this is a person's nature or character, you want to make sure you watch out for yourself. I have been through enough situations where I was not watching the red flags and I have people around me that were not uh, for my best intent to where now I can warn others are um, hopefully inspire others to like if you have a certain light or you know you just that girl whether you have been affirmed as that girl or not by other people continue to be that girl and move accordingly all right protect yourself everyone does not deserve it of your company of your space if you feel like you're giving your everything and you're not getting anything in return or if you feel people treating you funny see the signs and move accordingly okay don't try to put stuff together and try to like look past stuff when you try to look past stuff then other things can happen okay all right <laughs> in all honesty and in all fairness I think everyone has to learn this um, in their life at a specific time there are certain people that you're just gonna have to give grace to in life and just learn to work with and live with and you know we're all just here learning learn how to love each other learning how to love ourselves in the right way learning how to love God you know the way we should it's just a big lesson of love that I feel like life is about all right so I ended up going to a store that I have never shopped at before but when I saw the store I was like uh I'm just gonna go in here I literally had no intent of buying anything and I ended up seeing this bling bling shirt it has these rhinestone looking things on it and because they had a sell one okay saving some coin they had a sell one so i ended up getting a sweater so that i can get the percentage taken off the sweater is pretty basic material but i love pink so um it was the perfect price that i had to spend in order to get the discount so it ended up working out it was like one of those situations where something like stands out to you and like this is for me and you get it and move on with life so and then of course I had to check out Sephora so I ended up buying fruit quenchers hydrated and conditioning lip oil duo so I use the cherry treat lip oil from Fenty Skin this was a little while ago and I used the whole bottle I don't always go through beauty products quickly unless I just really like it or I'm just literally trying to get rid of it but I really like the Fenty Skin lip oil I like wearing it at night like after I brush my teeth and I'm about to go to bed I put on the lip oil and my lips have been like in such a nice state but when I ran out of the cherry treat lip oil which is this one this one is a new one i believe that they came out with so i'm excited to try this one this is a melon flavor i just got the duo because why not might as well just go ahead and rack up on two and they're two different flavors but um i ran through the cherry tree lip oil i was using it like every single night uh on my lips and i loved it but when i stopped using it i ended up trying some different and it's not that what i tried new is bad or anything but it's not the cherry treat lip oil is not the same consistency i just want to go back to what was working for me okay you know how they say if it ain't broke don't fix it that's how i felt once i switched to something new um from the lip oil and then i love sephora's lip stain so i ended up getting this red lip stain I feel like everything that I bought was intentional and I made sure that I was getting stuff that I wasn't just going to buy and then we'll never use. So y'all, I'm about to go to sleep. 
see y'all tomorrow. We're about to go to two malls, Mall of Millennia. That's usually my favorite mall I like to go to. And then we're gonna go looking at the outlets. I wanna go to Del Taco. That's my favorite taco place uh, to eat at when I come to Orlando and I'm hungry. So maybe later I'll um, do something tonight if I meet up with the girl that I'm supposed to meet up with. By the way, this view, spectacular. The trip was good. I just needed me a little getaway and now I'm back, okay? I just needed a couple of days, you know, to play, have my fun, and now I'm back to everyday life again, which I want to be intentional about enjoying my everyday life too, so. I don't want it to sound like everyday life is like, you know. <laughs> For some reason, I feel rejuvenated going places and then coming back home, like I actually want to just come back home. Also, it's that time of the year where there's so many good deals going on. So much stuff that you can find, you know, for the low. So, that was really good about me going on this trip. Being able to find some stuff that I have been looking for on the low, okay? So, I have my tea. This is the green tea that I bought uh, a couple of days ago. And it's not bad. The sugar is not bad. I just feel like I would prefer to just stick with honey. I feel like honey for me makes tea taste like top notch. That's my favorite sweetener. It's hot, but overall, the tea is good. I taste more of the rose because I added rose petals into the tea and uh, it's strawberry and green tea, but I don't really taste the strawberry as strongly, but I feel like if I didn't put the rose petal in here, I probably would be able to taste it a little more. But overall, with all these mixed together, I feel like the tea is pretty good. So let's quickly talk about friendships, alrighty? It's not even that people are just terrible in general. I mean, there are some terrible people out here. There really are, there's no sugar coat in it. But I just feel like in general, a lot of people aren't self-aware or even considerate of others. And so friendships have been one of the biggest areas in my life where I feel like I've been tested in, or I've gone through trials and stuff in friendships and let me be the first one to say like in the past i was not a terrible friend i've always had this goodness i feel like as far as being a friend but of course back in the day in the past i had my own stuff uh which i still have stuff that i want to continue to work on but you know how it is when you're young back in the day still trying to figure out life and i'm talking about like teens early 20s i feel like i wasn't the best friend but i did try to be a good friend if that makes sense and i feel like as i've gotten older i've gotten better at being more conscious of how I'm presenting myself and how I'm showing up as a friend. So I want to say like early 20s, I was consistently, you know, like working on being a better friend maybe. I don't know if I was fully in my like self, you know, like changing uh, time where I went on the like spiritual journey and, you know, change that transformative journey, I feel like we all uh, eventually start to go through or at least search for in life. So I have been one of these people that have gone through a lot when it comes to friendships, betrayals, all those type of things when it comes to friends. And I do take accountability for me. In the past, I just ran my mouth, you know. I see now everybody does not need to know your business. And I'm talking about friends, people that you consider friends, 
everybody is not worthy of knowing your business. I don't care if this is your best friend of 150 years. Everybody don't need to be knowing every single detail of your life. And it took me a while to really get that. Like, uh, this whole best friend thing. Like, back in the day, I wanted a best friend so bad. I wanted a best friend that I could say we 100-something now. We still best friends. I don't really care for that anymore. All right? I really just genuinely right now, that is not my focus anymore. The whole best friend thing. Having a big group of friends and all these things. That is not anything that I'm focused on. All right, now, I think it's because I've matured a lot, uh, especially when it comes to different types of relationships in my life. I've just matured overall. Family, friends, ugh. <laughs> I feel like even at my old job, like coworkers and stuff, like I grew a lot, you know, talking to them, having relationships uh, that way. So I'm in a place right now where it's just like, I just want to be left alone in my own company and I'm okay with it. I don't have that deep, I guess, yearning for relationships right now. I do believe that friendship is good, but I feel like maybe this just might be a season where I just genuinely don't feel like being bothered, all right? I don't know if this is like because I'm almost 30 type of thing. Like, is this normal? If you're 30 and up or, you know, around that age, are you going through this? <laughs> Honestly, that's just how I've been. I don't feel like I'm missing out. Actually, I feel better. <laughs> and I do want to say that I do have like people that I can like, you know, talk to. It's not like I just completely have just went on an island that I don't have anyone that I could talk to. But at this point in my life, when it comes to like deep, I guess, super deep friendships or anything that is going to require a lot out of me um, emotionally and you know like that as far as a friendship I don't think I'm really interested right now <laughs> I don't I feel like a lot of over the years it's been a lot of me giving to friends and after a while that gets tiring I've dealt with a lot of different things it's like being around other women and just them not being as secure as maybe you are and then so the insecurity stuff the the mimicking the copying the betrayals all the different things I feel like I've walked through so much to where it has opened my eyes to that you cannot put friendship on a pedestal really no person no human being should be so high on the pedestal in your life we're all people and I felt like I did you know at one time put friends on this pedestal but now it's like I don't really care <laughs> like this place that I'm in like I feel like maybe it's just maturity just maturity manifesting in a deeper way before I would not speak up in friendship I would just let a lot of things slide and now I'm at this place where it's like we're not letting things slide anymore rather we're building something or it's built or this is just like maybe it's the tail end of a relationship i'm not letting things slide anymore and then i end up picking the pieces up because my expectations were this and then another person's were this so that's just where i'm at recently i had a situation where I felt that I was being considerate, you know, trying to go out of my way for a person. And I felt like what I was doing, which was to help the person, and it wasn't in a way to like be like, you know, I'm trying to, you know, be this big person. It truly was genuinely looking out for somebody. Um, and they said they wanted, you know, what I was helping them with. And in the beginning, it's like, yeah, I'm interested. They wanted to help. But then it's like when it came time for me to, you know, give or help or whatever, it's like, I don't know. Like, it started to shift and act funny. So for me, like, to go out of my way to try to do something, you know, for somebody, which I didn't have to do, um, I really <laughs> was just trying to do something nice. And to feel like I was met with like a lack of consideration for my effort to get things to them and for their lack of consideration for my time and like that I actually have a life that I actually have things to do to me that is like slap in the face type of stuff I was annoyed like it was irritating me the old me would have ran my mouth kept these 
aggravated feelings in this new me where I'm at now it was just like I'm going to actually text a person and let them know how I feel now yes I was annoyed and all that but I made it to where I didn't come like you know ready to start something you know calm cool collect it but to the point alrighty and I let the person know like basically I just feel like you're inconsiderate of my time me trying to do something for you I felt good after releasing that people you know can sense the kindness or whatever good heart whatever you want to call it i know people think that kind-hearted people are people that have a pure heart or people that truly are just out here trying to have you know the right motives and everything with everybody i know people may look at them and think that they don't see but i see even if i don't say i, I see and i move accordingly like if people start acting different or start acting shady or stuff like that i see and i move accordingly from that but anyway back to the situation um once they responded it was kind of like you're right you know they own up to everything and just to think about the old me when i wouldn't speak up or i wouldn't say anything and i would be frustrated for all this time because i felt this type of way i had this in my heart because i'm like dang they doing me like this you know how we can be especially if you're dramatic all right <laughs> but to actually just lay everything out and then for you know the person to actually to own up to everything and be like that was messed up that was like you know because i'm just being honest i've done this before you gotta know not everybody's gonna own up to their stuff and that's okay because they might not be at the place where they're able to i wasn't always at a place where i was able to see myself for what it was it's okay but that don't mean you know excuse the behavior you just have to accept that that's just where they are and like i said i move accordingly even when they owns up even though I may have my own like feelings like I don't know if I want to continue this for other reasons based off of like just what I have sensed and what I have seen in the past with uh, friendships and relationships. I at least got to see that you know like just continue to whether people accept it or not be honest with people because you do owe people to be honest with them because now they can at least come back and say well you never said this or you never told me you felt this way i feel like being honest although it may hurt at times or although people may not be able to receive when it's necessary you just gotta be honest and real with people be for your own sake not even for the sake of just you know like whatever they got going on for your own sake of just having that release in your own heart so this person understands what your boundaries are oh boundaries boundaries has been a thing for the past couple of years boundaries i feel like with boundaries uh being established at the beginning that's the best time to establish boundaries at the beginning of anything new because past that if you're trying to establish boundaries I have seen in my own life a lot of people don't like when you start to put up boundaries i personally have been met with resistance once i put up boundaries <sighs> you know how that can go i don't even feel like i need to explain but there is so much freedom and just you know being upfront and honest i feel like in friendships and relationships and whoever is for you is for you i know that being honest may not be easy you know if you're in a certain place in your life what it is for me i have to grow into this place so i get it if you're not there yet but hopefully one day you will get there because it is freeing back in the day i wasn't ready to be at that place because i used to idolize friends i used to think oh friends 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 my friends this 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 ah baby <laughs> it ain't all of that <laughs> I'm not here to say that, you know, friends are terrible and this and that, but these are regular people just like you are. In general, I think we put too much stock into having all these friends and these people liking me and all this stuff, which I personally wasn't really huge on the these people gotta like me. I'm not saying that I never, you know, like felt that ever, but that wasn't a big thing of mine, like trying to be liked. I just, whoever rocked with me and we were cool, 
we were cool and that's how it was i really wasn't big on like changing for it to be in a group or you know all that stuff honestly i just feel like live your life in those people that are meant to be in your life will come into your life i feel like i went through all of that stuff for me to learn this lesson don't idolize anybody and definitely don't idolize friends because everything i kept going through I still wasn't getting it. Now looking back, I wasn't getting it. I kept, you know, like trying to be the perfect friend for everybody and not even looking at the red flags, not even looking at this, not even looking at that. And grant, I wasn't the perfect friend. You know, I tried my best to be a good friend, but nobody's gonna be a perfect friend. So get that out of your mind too, okay? But there is a level of respect and dignity and integrity that every friendship should have every and if those boundaries cannot be met this friendship probably just can't be okay so i've dealt with a lot of women you know that were around me that have been i guess intimidated or felt insecure by my light and i get it i have went through insecurity and all that stuff i'm not Speaking from a place of something that I have not walked through. It was always like a thing of them trying to dim my light. Them trying to secretly compete. Eventually turning jealousy into envy. And then trying to stop blessings in my life. It wasn't until like, you know, it was like, this is some messed up stuff that has happened with these so-called friends. That I was like, okay, maybe there's like a common thing. Like, clearly I'm opening up too much. I'm sharing too much of my life. And I'm giving these people too much access to my life to be able to do these things because people if they don't know nothing about your life and i'm not saying be you know one big secret bubble i don't think that's healthy either i think we have to like find the balance of things in our lives but there are certain things that you share and certain things that you don't share even if it's like good things yes it's good to share the good things but you need to know where the hearts of the people around you are if you just got a new car a new house a new man whatever it is you need to uh just see and i'm not saying hide your blessings please don't do that but see what's happening in the people's lives around you and see if they're able to even receive your blessings are your blessings but if they're like in a place that's like a low place i do think it is kind to be sensitive to where people are but definitely you shouldn't have to hide or not whatever your situation is whether you want to post whether you want to tell your group of friends whatever definitely don't hide that but be mindful of the people around you and what they may be like don't call them up if you know they've been going through a rough season and you're just telling them everything good is happening in your life i think there's a level of sensitivity you have to have with people if you're going to call them friends and stuff like that okay you can't control someone being jealous that is not your responsibility to worry about at all but i felt like why did i need to tell them all this why did i feel the need to have to share every single good thing that's happening you know what was my motive you know but i also got to see all that did was you know the jealousy and envy that was in the people around me or whatever you call it friends that was causing that to manifest that was causing that to and when I say manifest, I just mean whatever is in their heart is starting to, to show. Over time, it was just causing that to come out what they really felt about me. And I can say that I have been one of those people that I would tell the good stuff, but I also, if I felt like you were my friend, I would tell you the bad stuff. I would be honest about that. But I started to notice, like, I'm telling these so-called friends, you know, the bad stuff that's happening they're not telling me their bad stuff no they'll tell me their good stuff they're not telling me their bad stuff because to them it's a secret competition to them they want me to look at them like oh they don't ever go through nothing or they don't ever have problems but in their heart in their mind they secretly have oh well this is still happening it's just like a, a prideful thing like oh this still happening to her oh well this still happening to her it's like a one-up type thing and that's not a friend if you have people in your life doing that to you that's not a real friend for some reason people have felt like with me like living out my single life and walking out singleness i don't know if people have thought it was just like terrible for me again stop talking to your friends about 
who you want to date and all these things because I've had past situations where I've talked to friends about okay maybe this guy's interested or I'm interested in this guy and I've had multiple situations where friends have tried to sabotage me getting a relationship even people beyond friends and so I had to look back like this is a pattern clearly I shouldn't be talking about dating and all this stuff who's interested in me, who I'm interested in, all this stuff. I've always been a person like, I'm not about to just get with anybody. The person that I am going to be with, it has to be right for me. I'm not just going to settle for a relationship just to say that I have a man. A man has never just been my whole life. Like, I gotta have a man. I gotta be in a relationship. I was focused on me. Of course I did have the desire back then, but it wasn't like the thing that was driving me, moving me. Like I have to have a man. At the end of the day, you can have a man, but you have to feel secure on your own. Okay, a man can tell you you're beautiful 50 times a day, but if you don't feel that, that void is still gonna be there. So you have to know who you are. Relationship, no relationship. I have noticed that that was a pattern of where I really just feel like the people around me have been insecure that they weren't secure on their own they weren't secure in their singleness they didn't you know work on themselves before getting a relationship or getting a man yeah they had the man but if you have a man and you're happy or even if you don't have a man and you're just my friend or whatever well was supposed to be my friend why are you trying to sabotage me getting a relationship that's because it's not really about having a man. It's not really about that. It's something deeper going on. Because when I do get a man, now what's going to be your thing? All right? <laughs> the issue is still you have to deal with you. You have to heal you. You have to figure out why you want to ruin somebody else's life or try to keep blessings from somebody else. It's not okay. At the end of the day, you have to still look at yourself and figure out why do you want somebody else to be going through to make yourself feel better. So after cutting off those people that weren't truly my friend, that didn't have my best interest, I started to see like, okay, I couldn't have been that bad of a friend because these people are still looking me up. These people are still trying to talk to people that are connected to me, like family and stuff. These people are still trying to be connected and in my life. If you were a terrible friend to me, please know that I am not checking for you. <laughs> I do believe in forgiveness. You have to forgive and forgiveness is a process. I know people like to throw forgive, forgive and tr try to make it like you gotta forgive. That second that whatever happened, happened. It's a process. But I personally am not checking for anybody who I feel like is not good for me or was a terrible person to me. I'm just not. If you are benefiting me, I'm going to want to still be connected to you. But if you're not benefiting me, you're draining me, you're causing pain and suffering in my life when I'm trying to cause you good, that's not going to make me want to be connected to you. Even beyond just seeing the red flags and, you know, like just discerning things, I've had God actually tell me to cut certain people off and then at first it was like a thing of like this person can't be that bad or and then everything came out after so definitely listen to god okay if i can tell you anything listen you have to know that it's deeper than you it's deeper than all these different things it's deeper <laughs> <laughs> it's deeper than just a friendship this is some other stuff that you know they will have to do some soul seeking even like i've done the whole like even forgiving and bringing back some friends in my life and that was even worse the second go around so like even like some relationships people say they took an ex back it's the same rule with friends you do have a responsibility to watch over who is in your life. Watch who you call a friend. Everybody is not your friend. People may pretend to be your friend, but everybody is not your friend. Be mindful of that. Be mindful of the company you keep. 
keep shining keep being you don't change for anybody don't change your personality even if they try to steal your personality they can't steal your personality because they weren't born with that personality so eventually it's gonna get old it's gonna fall off when you separate from them they're not gonna know you know <laughs> what you like what to still do anymore unless you know they're stalking you or whatever which is illegal just be you do you be authentic and you know let life play itself out you don't have to try to get back at anybody you don't have to try to prove anything the truth will always be revealed the truth will always be revealed and what's done in the dark will always come to light so if anybody has done something to you baby i know from my own life it's gonna come out you don't have to do the extra digging and, and searching and being stressed out it's gonna come out that's just life <laughs> it's law it's spiritual law and lastly i want to say don't let anyone make you feel like you haven't experienced what you have actually walked through don't let anyone make you feel like oh you're just being dramatic are you making things up or try to minimize what you have walked through you are the one who walked through it you know what you experienced you know what happened to you don't let anyone minimize your story be strong walk in that be you just just do it just do the thing Alrighty. but i definitely do believe the people you have around you can make you or break you there are some things that we do start to pick up the more we're around people so who you have in your circle evaluate and see if they are benefiting you are you just benefiting them can you trust that this person's intent with you is good or do you feel bad because we're all going to make mistakes i don't care what relationship you're in people are people they're going to do something whether it's little or big that may make you feel like why did they do this i wish they didn't do this or i wish they came through in another way for me it's just life we're human none of us are perfect we all have our broken pieces from our own situations and lives that we have to work on <laughs> getting them back together and mending them and a lot of people are not working on getting them back together and mending them so it's just a reality of life that at some point you can basically unless they're just like you know one time meeting or you know you don't really have to be around them at some point you can't expect to be disappointed by most people in your life and even you may do to them for sure <laughs> that may disappoint them or you may fall short we all fall short at some time i am grateful for the experiences that i've had because if i didn't have these experiences now i don't know where my life could have been later having you know whatever types of people or friendships are continuing an unhealthy toxic friendship like behaviors later down into my life learn about me what i need to be better at and i learn about others you know what type of people i do need around me and what behavior is okay when i start to see signs okay i know this may be a different person but this is a new person in my life and i'm starting to see the same signs and i've seen this before so if patterns are repeating themselves this is a red flag this seems to be maybe i need to work on myself or maybe i just need to figure out why i'm letting this type of person back into my life time after time after time just a different face but that same thing going on that's definitely something to look into i had to do that for my own life why is the same type of person or pattern like being repeated and i had to learn to change my own self and move accordingly so i feel like this topic i could just talk about all day but i'm not trying to talk about this all day or all night right now so um thank you for watching this uh video i hope you enjoyed bye Hehehehe <laughs>